we are about to create Canadian history. Americans landed on the moon. Canadians, we're gonna suck a sponge back with a camera mounted to it through a concrete pump. Now, before I uh, get into this, I must say I put a lot of work into engineering this to make sure that uh, it probably won't get stuck in a five inch tight radius elbow. We're gonna find out here pretty soon. But uh, I have to mention there's another fellow, Mr. Lee, mr.lee -E -E on YouTube, who after I built all this, I found out has already done this a couple years ago. So go to his channel, check it out. The video's on there, credit where credit is due. So we won't be the first to do this, but we'd be the first, the first Canadians to do this. Now, as you can see here, we have a Canadian flag. My six-year-old daughter is named the sponge Emma. She was tasked with giving it a name and uh, went to the extent of decorating most of the remaining sides as well. Sparkle, love, some kind of purpley Easterish heart. I love you. Aw, uh, what kind of parent would possibly put this thing through a boom full of concrete? This one right here. She actually gave my blessing. I'll insert the clip, I promise. She's fully on board with this. What do you, what do we do? Oh, wow. You see this, mummy? Aww. <laughs> okay, how am I gonna put that in a concrete pump? I, I have to have a harder stone to put that in a concrete pump. Now, you made it too pretty. <laughs> is it still okay to put in a concrete pump? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. I want it to be in the concrete pump. You do? Yeah. Okay, so have your endorsement. Yeah, I don't have to make another one. Daddy put a lot of work into this to make it work. Good job. I still don't care. You still don't <laughs> care? <laughs> Good job. Okay, what do you think of this? Is it gonna work? I don't think so. You don't think so? Is it stupid? Not Be stu honest. It's not stupid, but. If it works, it's not stupid. Sid's a little skeptical. There's no light. No, there is a light. <laughs> Come on, buddy. There's a dollar store light on there. I actually am quite confident that it will work. I'm a little bit skeptical of what kind of footage we're gonna get from this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna wet this sponge down. First sponge, we're just gonna take it back, damp, no water in front of it. And then we'll open up the transition door, we'll pull it out, put the transition door back together. We'll do a second round with a bunch of water so that we can uh, come to a uh, some sort of a hypothesis here as to the effectiveness of sponge water sponge. I had to uh, add some sort of technical merit to this so it wasn't just complete uh, idiocy. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, Sid, let's moisten her down. And we, we really, really, really gotta remember to turn that camera on. That's super important. Oh no. Poor Emma. That's good. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna flash the camera up here. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Power will be on the side. I should mention, part of the reason why we're doing this is I got a new GoPro. So this old GoPro here, it becomes the uh, the sacrificial lamb. So we are, uh, we've opened the gateways to doing all kinds of stupid stuff with this thing, so. Okay. And we'll throw her in record. All right, buddy. Yeah, I'll record you. You record? Okay. Now we're gonna try and do this as slow as possible. I want this to be nice, controlled, top quality footage. So we've got the grown A frame here. We're gonna keep the RPM low. Pull it back as slow as we possibly can. Do camera first, right? What's that? Do you go camera first? No, 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 no. If you go camera first, it's just gonna get bunged up with slurry right away and you won't see anything. Nope. Camera second. If Good this deal. works, maybe we'll experiment with camera first in a, uh, a future game. Oh, we're gonna turn the light on. Hold on. Light is on. Camera is recording. I'm looking at this, and I'm definitely uh, I'm getting skeptical. You can't swear. This is, yeah. Is this gonna work? Well, we're gonna try it. Push it in a I, I almost want to. 
I almost want to cut those corners off. Or do you think we just we just go for it at this point? What do you think? I think we should take the corners off. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. We'll reconvene in a second here. We're going to modify this a little bit to make sure it actually works. Okay, just putting the finishing touches on uh, precision modifications here. What do you think, Sid? Better than last time. Better than last time. That's about all we can ask for, right? Okay. Now, we got to hit the record button. That would be catastrophic if we forgot that. Oh. There we go. All right, buddy. Let's make history, Emma. Are you ready? I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous as hell right now. Luckily, we're in a controlled environment. If she does get stuck, we got tools, we got water, we got washout pens. Ready to go? Ready to go. Do about a three on the volume. As slow as we can get that thing back. Oh, and what I'll do, we almost forgot. That would have really sucked. You don't want to pull your GoPro into the S2 and chop it in half. Oh. Come on, baby. We'll just keep it at that speed. Maybe a little quicker. I think we want a little bit of momentum at the tight radius 90. That's the one that most concerns me. We got two of them, one at the end of the fourth section, one at the start of the fourth section. That's good. Well, let's put... Uh... I think it's working. <laughs> Look at him smiling. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> if it gets stuck in the boom and we gotta pull pipes apart, then it's really stupid. You worried about the turret? No, no, turret will be fine. If it makes it through the tight radius 90s, it'll make it through here, no problem. Home stretch, buddy. You hear kind of like a scraping sound, like the cannon right across the pipes. Final run, here we go. Now Sid, give her a couple good ones. I think we're back, but give her a couple good strokes just to make sure it's all the way. Yeah, it's there 100%. Okay. Now let's hope that we don't open the back end up and find a sponge, but no camera. <laughs> what do we got? I know, I know. We have to play around with the outriggers a bit. When you got load on the pump chassis like this, sometimes it doesn't line up quite perfectly, but. Oh, don't hit it! Don't hit it! Just pry, put the, put the hammer in there. Don't hit it, twin wall elbow, ever. Oh, ho, 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 ho. baby! Okay, uh, we'll pull the pin up, we'll pull it out the other way, and we'll go for round two. Okay, let's see what we got. And is it still recording? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, quick rinse and we'll go for round two. Let's fire the water up.
Just a light spritz. Okay, round two, we are gonna absolutely load this thing with water. What I someday wanna do is uh, do one sponge with a bunch of water just to kind of do a test to prove uh, my belief in using sponge water sponge and how much cleaner the pipes get but you'll see here on the second round if we get the footage i'm hoping that we're going to get you'll see how much cleaner the pipes are after we put the water in but the key is you just got to load it you got to load it up hey sig can you throw it in reverse just so i can get more water in here yeah, and then you can put the sponge in this time. It's gonna absolutely flood this thing out. Ooh. Okay, that's about all we're gonna get. Are you ready? Are you in forward? Oh, I just came back. No, I just came back. Okay. Okay. Okay, sponge in. Or you want me to do it? We'll try and orientate the camera the same way as last time. 12 o'clock position. So we have comparable footage for our first round versus second round. Oh yeah. I said it was a sacrificial lamb, the GoPro, but I don't really, I'm not ready to part with it quite just yet. We're gonna do something really, really cool with that when it sees its final days. Listen for that sound.
couple big ones, make sure it's home. Yeah, we're there. Bust her open and see what we got. always hit on the, the inner area of the clamp. You don't want to flatten that out either. Or over time, it'll make it a, a pain in the butt to get apart. And instead of hitting the elbow, just gotta give her one of those. Do we have a sponge? We got a sponge and a camera, okay. We'll get this out, we'll get it cleaned up. We're gonna go through the footage here and uh, we'll check in with some uh, reaction once Sid and I have reviewed the footage here. gonna retrieve our camera now and I will uh, link my iPhone up to this GoPro and we'll have a look at the footage and we'll check in and see what we got Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you look like a couple of complete idiots. <laughs> <laughs> this actually works. <laughs> That's probably the tight radius 90s there, where it went black, where it blacked out for a second. And then it'll pop open, we'll see daylight again here. Can you get better flash right now, too? Yeah. I'm gonna say the guy there, uh, the other guy who did it before me, he did it on a round sponge, and overall the footage came out a bit better. Is there somebody who did this? Yeah, no, I put all the work into building the thing and then I go perusing YouTube and there's some dude that already did this. That's why I said uh, we're just we're the first Canadians to do it. That's I know, that's like oh, <laughs> but don't be disappointed, come back. <laughs> so overall I would say it's a seven out of ten. We could definitely uh, fix the sponge up a little better and uh, yeah, probably get some better footage. You gotta go back to the drawing board to the design specs. Here's your suggestion for what we use as a mounting hockey base? Puck. A hockey puck. In true Canadian fashion. Anyhow, that concludes today's uh, festivities. Overall, I would call it a sort of success. Like I said, I got this extra GoPro now so I can do all kinds of stuff. Before, I was a little bit afraid to be uh, hanging cameras from the boom and doing you know other kinds of stuff where I could uh, compromise the integrity of the camera. So if there's anything that uh, you guys want to see, any suggestions, 
as long as it's safe i don't mind if it's stupid but it's got to be safe that's the only rule so anyhow till next time we're bringing you quality content such as this as usual or something like that you know it goes like share subscribe like share subscribe like share subscribe over and out